I feel like in the online business space, it's maybe a little bit different than if you were no. like a. You get random comments same. about all kinds of stuff. I think the biggest the biggest thing that I've seen comments about is like people that are just like this is BS or that's not possible, you know, mm. um, that kind that kind of thing. I think yeah. that's a big one. Like it's as soon especially like if you're in any way talking about numbers, like if I talk about our course numbers or you know talk about the business like earning mm-hmm. potential, like that kind of stuff, like when you're trying to explain to people, and as soon as like you say anything that approaches or goes beyond like that six figure range, people are yeah. like, this is total BS. That's not possible. Get a real freaking job. And it's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's in, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, that one makes a little bit of sense to me. I don't know. I, I could, I could see like, I can't imagine you like, get- sitting there and like typing something and, and sending that off to an influencer, but I, you also see a lot of that stuff in the online space Well, we where had it's like one 20 on, year old kids talking about that stuff. You know, we had one on a YouTube short um, and it was like, <laughs> we were having the conversation about um, Coral doing the sponsorships and stuff. And just the way that mm-hmm. one was clipped and like how you were talking about it, like that got a lot of negativity, but it was really? like about, yeah, I, don't even was, see this. I say a lot. It was like three or four comments, like, um, eh, that's enough. but it, it, but for like kind of new content, that's not, you know, we're, you know, we don't have like mm-hmm. a ton of engagement on that right now. Um, it, it was a lot and, but it was around things of like, you know, like, is this, what is this supposed to be a humble brag? Like you think you're cool with your big sponsorships? Like they're talking, you know, like stuff like that, or like, um, yes, I do. Or, or things where it was like, uh, um, oh, so like normal interview negotiations that people do every day, your wife has to figure that out. Like, you know, it was just stuff like that. And, uh, okay. That's um, interesting. Know, I should read and, those and respond yeah, to it. Who and hurt you? Just, dude, I love, I love the, uh, who hurt you is the best one, man. That one cuts right to the core because that person got hurt somewhere. Yeah. It's funny, man. It's funny. I, I, with my stuff, I tend to, my gut reaction is to make a snarky comment or go to battle. Mm. Like that's my yeah, personality. Yeah, I like going to battle too. But what the way I look at it is like, one, is that worth my time? And it's not. Like, is it worth me going to battle with somebody I've never seen that I'm not going to change their mind versus hanging out with my kids? And then the second thing is like the broken window theory, right? So, you know, when you talk about like in a neighborhood um, or a community, and if you have like broken windows and graffiti and things like that, like when you have more of that, then it it's like, okay, this is acceptable and it can get worse. But like, if you clean it up, if you replace those windows and everything, it it's a detriment to crime. Like, you know, like that's yeah. a st- I remember, I remember learning about this and like doing like political science classes and stuff. And so that's kind of like my view with content is, and I learned this with ads, right? If you allow a really negative comment to stick around on an ad, people will pile on because it gives them mm. confidence. Oh, it's acceptable for me to do this. Other people agree with me and it can spiral right. out of control. And so that's kind of my approach to like posting on YouTube and on, on TikTok is I'm like, this isn't worth my time. And if somebody is going to, if, if somebody has like a solid opposing opinion, I am totally game with that. But yeah. if you're just going to come on and just crap on it, then you're hurting the, there's always both ends. Like, and I think that like, I have more engagement on TikTok than YouTube right now. And so there's always two sides and you see both. And so if you're going to come on and you're going to just be completely negative or whatever, then I'm just going to delete it. Like, I'm not even going to respond to it. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to block you because my stuff's not for you anyway. And I don't want you to ruin the experience for somebody else. And, you know, it adds engagement. Sure. It like felt, you know, that can help, but it's just not, it's not worth it. So that's kind of like my, my view on it, but, but yeah, you get things from like comments about, you know, how you look and like, you know, right. you know, that you're full of it or just, you know, you know, your mom probably didn't love you. Like, I mean, you just get the most <laughs> random, Dang. you get the most it's... random stuff, but the funny ones, well, are I think the, it's uh, fun for people. I think they enjoy yeah. it. Like, I think it's like a board thing. Maybe. I don't know. I don't I've know. Never done it. I was I've, never, liked, I've never sat down and done that before. I, I haven't either, but I always liked, um, like 
Clay Travis, the, uh, you know, mm-hmm. he'll, somebody comes at him from outkick coverage, someone will come at him on Twitter and he just clicks on their profile and looks at their posts and looks at their stuff. And if there's anything for him to make fun of, like he goes back at him. And so he'll be like, someone will say something to something to him. And then he'll be like, Hey, neck beard, like <laughs> figure out your own <laughs> issues before you come at me. You know, <laughs> like it's just, so I always get a kick out of that. And like, I think that's like my, that's my gut reaction. But then I'm just like, I don't, the effort's not worth it. Yeah. 